The presentation that you are about to view will focus on the San Andreas Fault with an emphasis on Southern California earthquakes. The San Andreas Fault is made up of two tectonic plates, North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. Over the last 200 years, these two plates have been shifting cons constantly, causing earthquakes along the way. Southern California is divided between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. For Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Riverside, and San Diego are some of the major cities in Southern California. The presentation will cover the Hollywood myth about earthquakes, an overview of tectonic plates, explain the ring of fire, the shifting of the San Andreas Fault, major earthquakes in California, and try to answer the question of when will the next big earthquake hit Southern California? When a major earthquake hits Los Angeles, is the earth going to pull apart? Like this next clip, is Hollywood right? Tectonic plates for the San Andreas Fault are known as a transform boundary, meaning these plates will slide past one another and never pull apart. The movie clip is an exaggeration of this movement. Per author Charles Fletcher, the Earth is composed of three layers, the inner core, the outer core, and the mantle. The tectonic plates move in response to forces being created by the mantle. The continent is made up of 12 lithospheric plates called the Nubian, Arabian, Eurasian, Antarctic, Indian, Australian, Pacific, Philippine, South American, North American, Cocos, Nazca, and the Caribbean plates. Our focus will be on the Pacific and North American plates for the San Andreas Fault. This next picture will give you a representation of where all these plates are. If you follow the red boundaries along the continents, you will see how these plates are formed. Some pull apart, some will be shifting. Next, I will explain the ring of fire. The research, the ring of fire is considered as the largest boundary with the most volcanic and seismic active zones in the world. The population in these regions are at higher risk of experiencing a major catastrophe or even death. Five of the major earthquakes since 1960 have been in the Ring of Fire, with the biggest recorded in Chile at, at 9.5 on the Richter scale. This clip gives you a visual representation of the volcanic activity in the Ring of Fire. The 
Some of the great earthquakes recorded in history have been in Chile, Anchorage, Alaska, Japan, the Indian Ocean, and Sumatra. As mentioned earlier, the Pacific and North American plates will grind past one another, known as a transform boundary. Outer boundaries are known as divergent, which pull apart from each other. And the third boundary is called convergent, when, when these two plates collide or they'll overlap each other. The Pacific and North American plate are known to be sliding approximately two inches per year, as seen in this clip how the earth was made. Los Angeles and San Francisco will be next to each other in a billion years or so. It is being compared to the North and Anatolian Fault, which is also shifting every year. Earthquakes are recorded by the Richter's magnitude scale and are classified from minor to great, as seen in this chart. This includes the four great earthquakes that happened in the Ring of Fire as mentioned earlier. Two earthquakes caused by this grinding shift of the San Andreas Fault is the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which occurred on 18th April 1906 at 0512 in the morning, recorded at, as a 8.3 on the Richter scale that lasted 48 seconds, causing major destruct, destruction followed by a series of fires. And the most recent one is the 1994 Northridge earthquake that occurred in, on 17 January 1994 at 0431 in the morning, causing major damage. Luckily, the morning work traffic was not at, uh, at its peak yet. As daylight breaks, the scope of the damage is clear. The epicenter of the quake is northwest of the city, in Northridge. And the damage is most severe near the State University campus there. Just a few blocks away from the school, pictures of a derailed freight train carrying toxic chemicals. Nearby, a shopping complex crumbles. A maintenance man is trapped in the parking garage. A drama that will play out hours later on national TV. Officials say they know that he has crushed legs. And the most gripping image of all, an apartment building collapses. Casualties seem certain. The only question, how many? Is there anybody in there? At the Northridge Meadows Apartments, tragedy in the making and a furious race against the clock. The top two floors of this 164-unit complex sink into the first floor, crushing people as they sleep. Of course, this leads us to the big question as we move, as we move on of when will the next uh, big earthquake hit Los Angeles and Southern California area? When will the two plates cause enough friction to trigger the next big earthquake? In a study done by the University of California at Irvine and Arizona State University in 2010, geologists discovered that between 6.5 and 7.9 magnitude shook the area every 45 to 144 years, instead of the previously published era of 250 to 400 years. Her author, Sinan Axis, the last major earthquake on record for Southern California was 7.9 in 1857. So they are predicting that the next one, or the next big one, could happen at any time now. It is projected that approximately 2,000 to 50,000 people will, will or could lose their lives. Are we prepared? Are Southern California residents storing ample amounts of water and other supplies? And do they have a family emergency plan? These are the questions that are lingering in everyone's mind. In 2009, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger 
updated the state's emergency plan, a 190-page document which included earthquakes as the number one on the list of hazards and vulnerabilities for California. More than 70% of California's population resides within 30 miles of, fault, of a fault where high ground shaking could occur in the next 50 years. Statewide, approximately 22 million people live in the 40% or higher seismic hazard zone. In 17 counties, more than 90% of the population live in the 40% peak ground acceleration or higher seismic hazard. This statement came from the 2009 emergency plan. In conclusion, my family's home lies in the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains on the Pacific Plate, as seen in this picture. Is your home on the Pacific Plate or the North American Plate? Do you even care? In summary, we talked about the myths about Southern California earthquakes, the history of tectonic plates in the Ring of Fire, the San Andreas Fault Shift, earthquakes in Southern California, when will the next major earthquake hit Southern California, and is Southern California ready? And then closing it off with the references. Thank you. This concludes the presentation.